Boha in Dorchester has long been a go-to spot for fans of traditional Vietnamese flavors to get their fix. We're known for our pho, which is a beef noodle soup with rice noodles and different cuts of beef and a really rich beef broth. Tam Lee now runs the restaurant his father started some 30 years ago. He's paired tradition up front with some serious innovation out back in the form of Rain Drink Lab. So Drink Lab, it makes me feel like we're gonna run some experiments here. We have our Taiwanese bubble tea, we have you know, our avocado smoothies, which are like traditional Vietnamese smoothies. So we threw a lot of stuff out there, but what everyone seemed to gravitate towards was our Vietnamese coffee. The secret is in the sauce. Vietnamese coffee is known for being a little bit sweeter because we use condensed milk and a lot of robusta beans. Robusta beans have extra caffeine that has made rain a favorite for some of Boston's bravest. Firemen, police officers, nurses, doctors, they're in quite often. They use our coffee as a tool to really get through those long days, those tough shifts. So this is the menu here. Yeah. And you had meant, oh, dark and stormy. Yep. That's our claim to fame. It's a layered drink that has our traditional Vietnamese coffee okay. with condensed milk and then our Vietnamese cold brew and it's topped off with our homemade sea salt cream. Oh, that sounds amazing. And then also this purple rain. That is a great non-caffeinated drink. It comes with lime and sparkling water, uh, butterfly pea flower tea and also passion fruit. Oh. That sounds amazing. I think I want to try that. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. I want to be on a beach somewhere though. So good. So when we first opened up Rain, our assumption was that most of our customers would come from Phu Hoa, since it's been a South so, for so long next door, but it was the complete opposite. Most of our customers at Rain have never been to a Vietnamese restaurant before. That's so cool. That's one of the most fulfilling things in opening up Rain is really introducing a lot of people to Vietnamese culture. Just down the street is Bali, another Dorchester institution, serving up these classic Vietnamese sandwiches faster than you can say banh mi. We do about 10 different types of banh mi. Yeah, like barbecue beef, barbecue pork, barbecue chicken. Jennifer Nguyen is the owner, manager, occasional sous chef, and all around resident community ambassador here. My customer. She's learned to play so many roles because her path to this version of the American dream has been difficult to achieve, starting with her departure from Vietnam in 1982. The bowl can fit around 20 people, but the neighbor hear about that and then they jump up to the boat, so the boat go up to 62 people. Luckily, the boat made it safely to Hong Kong, but with an influx of immigrants and nothing to eat, her family and infant son were starving. We are very lucky. We met a fisherman every day. They give one bowl of the soup for, for survive. Thanks God, all my family survive. The family would eventually make it to Boston. I remember the first is my sister opened the restaurant in Chinatown. The restaurant sold noodles and was struggling until a trip to Virginia presented Wynn with a novel solution. We met a husband and wife as he come from Vietnam and he do banh mi. Banh mi, the quick and inexpensive sandwich from Vietnam, was selling well in the U.S. Wynn asked the couple to teach her how to make one, and the rest is history. American, black, white, Chinese, everybody loves this banh mi. <laughs> Over the years, Wynn has expanded her menu and added homemade French bread to the equation. Not too hot, but not too soft. Today, her youngest daughter works the lunch rush, where it's the original banh mi recipe that is still the top seller. In the corner of the shop, an interpretive painting depicts Nguyen back in Vietnam, selling bread to the community, a reminder of how far she's come. I never think I can have what I have today. I never forgot when I'm on the boat. I never forgot the fishermen from Hong Kong. I would like to thank you for this country. Well, and Jennifer Nguyen knows firsthand what it's like to be hungry after leaving Vietnam. 
It's an amazing story and she's really made it a commitment of her own to give back to her community, especially supporting uh, programs that help children who are food insecure.